Oh, welcome back, guys. So, we need to make some money. Um, actually, how much is this? Half a mil. Are there any contracts that'll pay for it? Nah. So we need to make some money. Um, also need to train some people. So I figured I'll go higher. <laughs> Zero courage, maximum stupidity, <laughs> trifla. That's pretty bad. Dozer's a good name. Lemrod. I think we'll go with Dozer. Calbert. Yeah, he's expensive, but... So we've got a space station contract. I'm going to go fulfill right now. Um, and we'll get these new guys all trained up, too. Dozer. Yeah, alright. Uh, build a little rocket. It's just a little contract compliant rocket. We're just trying to make some money. Um, this will be an SSTO though, so this is going to be my first test of an SSTO. We just launched the Vector engine, which I'm very excited about. Um, once you get Vector, it gets pretty easy to do SSTOs. So. Could have done something similar before, but I. Uh, had other priorities, I guess. It's a simple crew rendezvous rocket. You know, you could just send crew up to orbit, bring them back down. The idea is that because it's an SSTO and it's reusable, you can bring back the entire rocket, save you on the costs. So hopefully, all those things cost like forty or fifty thousand. Uh, we'll be recovered for that. So right now we're trying to do this contract right here build a new orbital space station around Kerbin. This is a uh, space station. Uh, parentheses around that. We also do this mission, explore Kerbin. Um, the only thing I want to dock together yet, so we'll get that later. What's important to me is I want to be able to bring back our tourists, make some money. I do have a plan for that. I call it the... Uh, with a little rover that will land on Duna. We'll use it for refueling the, the stranded lander. So right now the lander, it's upright, it's full of tourists, it's full of Kerbonauts, but it just does not have enough fuel to get to orbit. But once it does, you know, we can bring everyone back safely, I think. So, I'm gonna let it gimbal control on this. Can I? Yeah. Sometimes with the swivels, they kind of overcorrect. Um, so it's nice to have the gimbal when you need it, but it's kind of annoying when you don't need it. Yeah, look at this go. So we got Durson, our new pilot, Calbert, Dozer. Um, I think we got two more scientists. I had to hire a new engineer because uh, the last one decided to jump ship like a coward and then he died while the scientists did not jump out of the ship that was crashing towards the ground somehow survived so we're looking pretty good for orbit still got about 2,000 meters per second of delta v left and we're already at 1,500 meters per second so I'm excited about that and we should have plenty of fuel going kind of fast, so we're getting some re-entry effects. Our apoaps, this is out of the atmosphere, so I'm going to coast up. I did want to try to get like a tourist on this mission too, but um, no one was asking for it, so. The market's drying up, I guess we're losing out to competitors or something. Alright, and that's space. Just gonna deploy one uh, panel. We're just gonna do one orbit. This is a training run, so. This is 
design it's a little bit inspired from uh, Dragon and it's also kind of partially inspired by this uh, spacecraft I saw this one in the series called B100 it's not a very good spacecraft in my opinion um, or realistic I should say people in science fiction they, they tend to get the uh, spacecraft wrong a lot of the time uh, it's hard to design good spacecraft I mean, in Kerbin, you don't really need things like, uh, what are they called, radiators, but in real life, you need a lot of radiators because you're always in the sun. Alright, and I think we'll go retrograde here. I want to try to hit the Kerbin Space Center. Um, I don't really know what the aerodynamics of this vehicle are like, so... Just gonna drop the apoapsis to zero, but keep it right at the horizon. So hopefully, we just kind of skim the atmosphere. And wait, did I get the contract? Yes. Okay. Skim the atmosphere. Glide to the KC. All right. I think I'll actually orientate myself kind of prograde because I don't want the vector engine to burn off. So, fortunately Durson is complete new. Oh, yeah, Durson, complete new, so doesn't really have much, uh, doesn't have many uh, directions he can hold. But you're about to get to level one, so. You got a scientist, an engineer, and a pilot. Perfect. I wonder if I should send these guys on the Duna Rescue Mission. Nah, we'll send them to Jewel, I think. So we're still coming in quite fast. Um, I was hoping to have entered a little bit sooner, burn off a little bit more speed. So we're gonna go anti or normal to the surface, maximize our surface area, create a lot of drag. A little bit of science. All right. We do have parachutes to help with the landing, so should be relatively straightforward. All right. See how much velocity we could drop. Looks like we're still going too fast. We may miss KSC. Really need to be hitting the lower atmosphere right now. If I want to hit the band, we're going to kind of see. And we've got aerodynamic. Anti aerodynamic. Alright, we're slowing down a lot now. So. Looks like there's nothing to worry about. You know, one other thing we can do is deploy the legs. They kind of act as like air brakes. Of course, this is going to turn us into a lawn dart, which isn't what we want. We want to be pointing straight down. What I did right there is I transferred the fuel from the middle of the craft to the bottom of the craft. Try to balance our center of mass so that we can uh, stabilize with our engines down. But I think we'll slow down enough and the parachutes will deploy. Yeah, we won't have to worry about that too much. This craft really did slow down. That's... I've never seen a craft slow down that fast, I don't think. We're like, still like 12 kilometers up. And we're traveling like, you know, really slow. So now, we'll just fall through the clouds. How much money that space station contract give us? I forget. Burn off a little bit of speed so we can parachutes. And deploy the landing wings.
Those are some cool mountains. I think I'll try to fly a plane there someday. Alright. I want drinks if this mission went perfectly. Let's try the final part of our velocity. So we don't crash too hard. And please don't tip over, please don't tip over. Oh, please don't crash, please don't break, please don't break, please don't break. <laughs> Solar panel ripped off. Oh, almost went perfectly. But now the fun part. Let's see how much money we make by recovering this. So we were at like 560, I believe. It should show us how much we recover. First the science, 15, 16. 37,000 from recovered parts. Everyone advanced to level one. How much did the rocket cost? 45,000. So, we lost about $10,000 worth of fuel. Okay, not bad. It's like 75% of the loss cost. Thanks for watching guys, catch you next time.